What up guys, my long six here and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to earn honey tokens while you're waiting for your hive mapper dash cam. So let's say you bought a hive mapper dash cam. You're just waiting for it, but it hasn't came yet. By the way, they are coming. They've shipped out a lot lately and you want to earn some honey tokens and start contributing to the network. So let me show you how to do that. So here is the QA for for Hive Mapper, what they're going to be doing is asking you whether or not these photos look high enough quality to uh, going on to the Hive Mapper map. So uh, what you're going to need first is to set up a Phantom Wallet, which is the Solana blockchain. So if you don't know how to do that, I just posted a video right here where you can see how to download a Solana blockchain and get your Phantom Wallet all set up and ready. So once you have that, go ahead and click connect and then approve. And then it will make sure that you're not a robot. So let's do that. So after you're done with the captcha, you should be in. However, if you get this error like I did, it means that too many people are currently trying to uh, log on and uh, use this website. So uh, we're going to wait a little bit and then try again. Okay, so it's working for me now. So uh, basically, we just need to decide are these photos high enough quality to go onto Hive Mapper's map? Or are there like a whole bunch of issues like it's raining, you can't see anything? Uh, is it pitch black at night? Are they low quality? So uh, right now, we just need to decide whether enough this is high enough quality or not. I will say that the ones we're currently looking at are like medium quality because you can see the hood of the car but it's a nice clear day though so I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one's pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and select yes in this case let's see if I can find an example of a bad one so here these look pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and say yes and it says all time two two collections reviewed in this session um, this one's missing I don't know why so let's see these look pretty good for the most part so do keep in mind that when you say yes to no of these, if you ever say no to someone that does hurt their overall, like Hive Mapper gives like a overall quality of your photos for generic quality. Now at this time, we're not really sure if that necessarily matters. However, in the future, your quality may matter. And uh, for instance, say there's two pictures that are taken within the same amount of time. If someone else's is, is a higher quality, then in the future, if Hive Mapper chooses to, they could implement a system where the higher quality photo is always picked and the less quality photo would be maybe just um kicked out and you're not rewarded for that one because someone else had a better photo of the exact same thing from a similar time period but that's all speculations because none of that has been set forth we're also going to talk about how much we might actually earn with honey tokens now that we've connected to the qa um, this one is a great example of things we do want to see. You do not see the hood, can't really see the windshield. This is wonderful. It might even be mounted outside of the car, which is um, definitely preferred if possible. So we're going to give this a yes. Let's just go through a few more of these. This one looks pretty good. Obviously, they could be better, but we don't have a middle option. We just have approve or reject. So this one looks pretty good. We're going to go ahead and approve this. We'll go ahead and prove this. Let me see if I can find an example of a bad. Actually, this is kind of bad. This is actually kind of bad because if you go to Google Street View, you're going to see just the street. You're not going to see inside the car. So this one in particular, more than like half the screen is inside the car. So we're going to go ahead and reject that one. Now, it wasn't pitch black or anything, so it's not like it was super bad. Like, I do know that the, like, there's a reflection here, a reflection. Like, this isn't the best quality. So I'm going to go ahead and vote no on this one. But I'll vote yes on this one. Yeah, there's a reflection. Um, and you can see the hood, but most of the screen is the road. So we're going to say yes. This looks pretty good. This is someone who's mounted on the side of their car rather than the front of their car. 
So if you're wondering what high quality photos look like and what to compare them to, if you hit uh, this little question mark, it will show you that you want an unobstructed view of the street. So you don't want a lot of the hood or reflections or anything. Um, this one shows too much sky because you want focus on the road. This is too high. This one's too bad because too much hood of the car is visible. So a lot of the ones that I approved, maybe I should not have approved at all. So over time going through these, I'm sure I'll get better at approving and denying. So this looks good because front facing, you can see everything, but this one's kind of bad because the, you can see the interior as well as the hood. So yeah, I'm, I'm not doing a good job of approving denying these and my guys so side facing you can see just the side this is bad because the traffic is in the way this is bad because there's too much um it's too turned down you can't see very well this one's pretty good to see everything this one's bad because traffic is coming through so in that case what we've learned is that this is actually pretty good i would say now that i've learned a little bit I mean, I would say it's bad, except for it's not traffic. That is what it looks like in this area. So I'm gonna mark this one as good. Um, I would mark this as good. I mean, it's not great. It's not great. So we look at the examples again. They mark this one as bad. And they mark this as bad because that. So I don't, I'm gonna mark it good. This one was bad because they can't, yeah okay all right so i'm gonna learn this is terrible because you got a big phone in the way right here so no so what now that we've gone through some of these um let's go ahead and figure out how much we're actually going to be making with helium let's see if it's possible to calculate it or if we just have to wait and see um whenever i might get rewarded so the first thing we're going to need to do is make sure that we can see our honey token. So we go to our phantom wallet and then click manage token list. And then we click add. We're going to need to find the mint address. So in order to find the mint address, I'm going to go to coin gecko and going to grab the contract address because I'm pretty sure the contract address and the mint address are the same. So let's go ahead and try that. Now I'm going to name it Hive Mapper and then I'm going to make it uh, symbol honey. That's what I choose or you could do honey and honey. That's fine too. Also keep in mind that this will cost a tiny bit of a soul, not too much under a quarter probably. There we go. And then give it some time and it should pop up here. Now what I went ahead and ended up doing is you'll see I have 15 honey tokens. That is not from what we've done today. That is because I went here and swapped a little bit for honey tokens. Just so that way I could make sure that everything was in my wallet and accounted for correctly. So now I'm going to go ahead and do some research and figure out when we can expect to earn some honey tokens from the QA review as well as how much. So I did some research and I found that you're rewarded on a weekly basis, Monday through Sunday, and then it will captivate how much you've made Monday through Sunday and then it'll pay you the next Wednesday. So uh, I will be back Wednesday to figure out how much honey I actually earned um, just by doing 25 of these Q and A's. Okay, guys. All right, guys. So it is Wednesday. Actually, I lied because I completely forgot about this video and haven't been keeping track of my honey tokens but let me share with you uh, where we are and everything so we recorded the first half of this video on april 8th and today is the 17th we did not receive our first payout until the 12th like we expected however a few interesting things has happened since wednesday the 12th let me share with you what those are so if we go over to our phantom wallet here and we take a look at our honey tokens we will notice some activities so on the 12th when we were supposed to receive um our payment it looks like we received some payment yes however the next day on thursday the 13th we received even more however we've not received any more uh deposits or rewards from hive mapper since 
since then. So it looks like they don't pay it all out all at once, but slowly over time, I don't know why, um, but let's go ahead and see how much I made. So if you guys remember, I only did 25 uh, clicks of accept and deny uh, back and forth between all of these, which we'll just deny that one for fun. Um, and this one will accept anyways let's go ahead and see how much money we actually made so if we take how much we had last time because if you remember i bought some just to make sure that everything was working on phantom wallet correctly i had about 15.7 honey tokens in the past however now i have 15.8 um, I did the math and this is the exact number. So we got about one tenth of a full honey coin. So that comes to at today's rate of uh, about less than one cent. But remember, I only did 25 of them. Um, I don't know what that would mean if you did 100 of them. Let's multiply this number by 100. So that means that if you did about 100 of these instead of 25, you would get about one cent so it takes about 100 to get about one cent um so anyways guys i hope that you found this helpful let me know in the comments down below what you think of this q a review of high mapper now remember guys the main purpose of this is to not receive honey tokens but is to be a quality control checker for the map images so uh, to keep with the spirit please make sure that you do your best at selecting the correct um qualifications of what is a good and bad photo photo we went over that earlier in today's video i hope that you guys found this helpful and i'm really excited to share with you guys the hive mapper dash cam as i'm about to receive one myself it's already in the mail hope that you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you guys have any questions about hive mapper or honey tokens and i'll see you guys next time and as always guys stay safe trade safe and god bless peace Can you see it? Did I hit record? Oh, did I never hit record? Okay, let me just... Uh...